Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Hey. Now, I, I haven't seen the label yet. I'm seeing a color that I recognize mm -hmm. and a big name bro a bottle shape. This has got to be a scotch. Yeah. Uh, but first, yeah. um, Sarah Duncan and Megan Inright gave us a bottle of Delbach Distillers Cut Fall 2021. Mm -hmm. We had already reviewed it um, back in August last yeah. year yeah, because yeah. Patrick Cohn also brought one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that makes them a pretty benevolent bastard because that's a rare bottle of whiskey. So Sarah Duncan. Sarah Duncan and Megan Inright, you make, nope, benevolent bastards. <laughs> <laughs> This is a gift from Harry Falkenberg, a titan of whiskey. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? I hear a Falkenberg. Could it be? So, this is Tom and Towel. Which oh. is a space side. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, now we've done Tom and Towel, but we haven't done this one. We actually done the Tom and Towel 12, which is just the standard 12. Yeah. This is the 12 finished mm. in Kadim or Kedem, I guess. I don't know if it's Kedem. Kedem? 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 Port cask. So Kedem. the Kedem is a New York State winery. Oh, okay. And actually a kosher winery. Hmm. Um, so they took port, the Scotch distillery in space side, yeah. took New York port casks. New York port cast. We've got to get our hands on those port casts. We've been looking for some port casts. I know, right? You get a port cast guy, you, you, you let us know. We yeah. Need, we need some port casts, we need some sherry casts. And uh, then they brought it back to Scotland and they finished it in port cask. Mm. Okay, so port cast alone. Mm -hmm. I love, dude. Don't the know reason, how long. The reason why we're looking for port casts is we want to be finishing a lot of whiskeys in port casts. Mm -hmm. We have not had a, well, maybe with a you know, couple thousand whiskeys that we've had, we could find something, but in general, Sherry cask finish, port cask finish. Yeah, those are our favorites. Beautiful, fans. beautiful whiskeys. Okay, here we go. Oh, what is... Oh. I'm very self-conscious of saying what is going on here now. Yeah, are you? Is yeah. this something you've noticed that you say now that you're editing things? No, again? Brianna makes fun of me. Oh. Because... Oh, that was a whole joke about that. She laughs about that. Yeah, I, why? I don't know. It's a mannerism that she, every time I say, what's going on here? She, she giggles. She just laughs. She thinks it's... Oh my God. What's going on here? This is. What's this going is, on? This you know a, what this reminds this me of? This is a cellar. I like this. Oh, and it has all these botanical okay. notes yeah. in it. Yeah, like hipster cola. Yeah. I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> because you're drunk. No. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> you can't be drunk <laughs> from what we've been doing. That's Oh, okay, man, this is lively. So, still this getting is, the grain. This yeah. is crawling in on the dessert direction of that last one, but it stops halfway, and then you get all the grain and all the malt. It's uh, like a syrupy strawberry. You know like a strawberry shortcake? Yeah. yeah, the strawberry bit in a strawberry shortcake, not the bready bit. Right. And then there's a, oh, there's some apple, uh, apple skins. Strawberry grass. shortcake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that young quality is there. Uh, I'm frankly a little surprised to see 12 on that. Yeah. I would have guessed maybe oh, seven or eight, weirdly. I wonder if the port cask sort of accented some of the grain notes, like pushed oh, them to the front. yeah, interesting, interesting. It works, though. I'm not off-put by the notes. I'm not put off by the notes. Oh, yeah. This is really nice. It's sweet without being cloyingly sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a soft sweetness. But the malt still holds center stage. I would say pear, but you're not a pear guy, so you rarely get the reference. Uh, well, my memory of the pear is that it's this almost tart, dry, grainy sweetness. Hmm. I mean, it depends on the pear. There's yeah. different kinds of pear, but... Mm. And there, you ever know those fruity tisanes? Those tea, fruit... So tisane is basically uh, a, a tea that you have, like, fruit infusions and stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, like, tea is only... Like technically, a tea is only with the tea leaves. Right. Once you start adding like vanilla and flowers, and then or, it's yeah. it's a tisane. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you learned that from the the tea dude. Yeah, Sohan. That's cool. Yeah, he's like by far the the coolest, most knowledgeable tea expert I've ever met. Mm -hmm. We we want to do a lot more stuff with Sohan. He's a good guy. Um, but this is striking me as a a tisane kind of tea with that just that fruity yeah, character I can see that. fused with the tea quality. One of my favorite, um, there is a, oh, I can't believe, I started the sentence and then the name of the tea left me. <laughs> the Blue Lady or the Blue Pearl 
It's a Edinburgh, it's a Scottish blended black tea. Okay. That I guess is in the design category. Mm. That also has flowers in it and it's called blue something. Mm -hmm. And it's one of my, I stumbled onto it mm -hmm. and it's a really great tea. And it reminds me of this direction, this almost floral black tea. Yeah. Yeah, tea, the only thing that's technically is tea is the stuff that's made from tea leaves. Right. You can have tea that has other stuff mixed in with the tea, but um, this is like a, a blue bonnet tea. Yeah. Like, no, that's a tisane. <laughs> and you say blue bonnet, but it does, it does smell like wildflowers. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go, yeah, we spent a lot of time on the nose on this. There's actually a lot more happening oh, on the nose. It's a little tangy, yeah. It's wow. sort of soft, sweet, a little tangy. We were getting so much more from the nose. Yeah, 40% alcohol. That may be why. Mm -hmm. This is an exclusive USA release, so everyone else It does have a nice finish, though. They said exclusive. This is a bo of 12,000 bottles. <laughs> this is 4,847, is this bottle, yeah. of 12,000 <laughs> bottles. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be like... Yeah. If we could release 12,000 bottles of something. Yeah. We get that Wouldn't yacht. Wouldn't that be nice? We get that yacht. Yeah. The vault yacht. The vault yacht. <laughs> Two coming to a port near you. <laughs> Rolling up there with you with the, like, the whiskey collection. It's like, pile yeah. on board. Make sure someone is, a, is a, at the wheel. <laughs> Gosh, who do I know that would trust at the wheel of this yacht? Uh, Brandon. Yeah, I yeah. trust Brandon at the wheel of the yeah, yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It lost even yeah. more of a step. I want it to be so much more on the palate. The nose is still really nice. Yeah, it's it's a slight watered down honeysuckle for me on the taste. Yeah. Gosh, the nose has given up so much more. Oh well. Yeah, the nose is beautiful. Yeah. Really well done. And now I'm glad we spent so much time on the nose because, I know, because this would've it would have been, been a very short episode. <laughs> There's just not that much there. Mm -mm. The finish is nice. Yeah. As, as watery as, as it is, what stays with you, what clings. Floral. It's floral. And it so. does linger, like it's yeah. not, it doesn't drop off a cliff. Yeah, this is all finish. The taste is just all finish. Because the water stuff is a slight watered down honeysuckle, mm. and, and then it lands on, on a floral finish, and then the floral finish is everything. It's carrying all the weight on the taste. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever had a whiskey that was nothing, and then the finish showed up. Yeah, now the finish is gone completely. It mm -hmm. took that long, which is respectable. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the finish is respectable. The watered down bit, not so much. <laughs> P.S. Beard, taste is subjective, but you all are simply wrong. Yeah, I put that, and he was talking about a specific whiskey. Yeah. But I, I, uh, I use that sentence a lot in my tastings. Yeah. I'm like, look, this is a subjective reality, but yeah. you are clearly wrong. <laughs> and then everyone laughs, it's one of my favorite things. So he stumbled onto a sentence that I use all the time, <laughs> and I kind of love it. Connor, I am new to Campbelltown, but love Isla's. So I figured the heavily peated Campbelltown would be a good start, but damn, that about knocked me over. Tasted <laughs> like I was eating dandelions out of my backyard while smoking a brisket. It's talking about Kilcarran. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that <laughs> tasting though. Yeah, yeah. Tasting like I was eating dandelions, dandelions out of my backyard. Whilst smoking, whilst smoking, smoking a brisket. brisket. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, had, I wish we had half as much flavor in this. I know. All right. Thanks, but the, Harry. But the nose is nice. Just smell it. This is what you do. You open up the bottle. Smell it, put it back in, then go get a whiskey with more flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so mean. <laughs> All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.